Hey everybody, in case you missed it, Webflow had some great announcements at the No Code Comp 2021. They announced some new products coming up, new features, things that are live now. One of these features that is currently live is the blending mode option in the design panel. So it's a really cool feature, it allows you to take an element and blend the colors from behind the element or in front of the element and kind of create a cool effect. It's great with text and different imagery that you're trying to do to elevate your website. And it basically replicates the mixed blend mode of CSS, but you don't have to code to do it. Yippee. So it's really easy. And there are five different implementations of it. One being darken, lighten, contrast, comparison, and composite. So those are just kind of categories and each one does a different effect. And it's really not worth explaining. If you're familiar with Photoshop or any other kind of software editing tool, you're probably familiar with these terms. But what's great is in the style panel, when you hover over these, you'll see the changes live, so you don't really need to know what they're doing behind the scenes, how they're blending the colors. You'll just see what it looks like for yourself and choose whichever one looks best. So to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna be working with this poster from the 2017 Best Picture winner, Moonlight. Great movie, definitely recommend it. So it's got these beautiful tones here that kind of blend in with the picture behind it. And this is just the normal poster, but for this purposes, I'm going to give a little filter to this to make it black and white. So I'll just do the grayscale here. And then I've got these divs here and they're all just kind of shaped like those shapes that are on top. I just made some SVG images from Figma. I just kind of manipulated some things and added the color tones there. And I positioned them absolutely on top of the poster to kind of give that effect of the normal poster, those like jagged edges. So basically all I'm gonna do, I have my element selected. So I'll start with the left side, this turquoise blue, and it's over the poster. And I just go down here in the style panel to blending and it's on normal by default, but all I have to do is kind of go down. It'll start to blend the colors from that blue shape image with the poster behind it. So it combines the color tones from the skin and then the color of the div itself. And you just kind of go through and I mean, there's no right or wrong for this. I'm just trying to recreate the poster. But you'll see it has a lot of different effects that can lead to some really cool things. I think overlay is pretty accurate to what the poster is. And then I'll just go to the next one here, this purple one and do the same thing, find the right color. Darkens to dark, obviously. I think color is pretty bright. Color is really nice, I like that. And then lastly, the sky blue one. Again, just go through. I think color works again for this one. I'll just do that, and there we go. So this is not the normal poster. This is just the divs on top of it using the color blend mode to blend it with the tones of the photo beneath it. And then it creates a cool effect. So this is a very specific example, just recreating this movie poster. But say you wanted to apply it to some text. So here's just a screenshot from the movie and then a quote as well from the movie and the, the play or theater work that it is based on. And I've just got the text here. It's in that same three color palettes. And if I wanted to kind of stylize this in a different way, I can just maybe overlap these guys a little bit, change their positioning so they're all relative and I can manipulate them. And then move this one up. And then if I just go down to the blending mode, I can find a cool effect and just start to play around with this. And you'll see either they absorb the light from the top, the bottom, they blend to make a different color. And you can really just play around with it and find cool applications and see what works for the text or images that you're working with. Might be a cool effect in your hero section with different overlapping images and things. This one kind of looks like moonlight, color burn might be cool for this. But what's great is that it has this live representation. So you can just scroll through quickly, see what you need to do and whatever looks best, it's really easy. And it's different than opacity because you're not just taking an element and making it less visible. You're actually affecting the layers above and beneath it and combining the color tones and the amount of light that's passing through it using these different effects. So it has a little more flexibility than opacity and allows you some more customization. So play around with it, do some cool things, stylize your project a little more. So this is the new blending mode option in Webflow. It's great to have an additional resource in the style panel. Use it all you want, don't use it at all. But now you know it's there. Hopefully it helps you if you need it. If not, keep building, do your own thing, and hopefully there's other cool features in the future. See you next time.